Hi, it's Faceless Tech. A, while, a few weeks ago, someone asked me to make them a Game Boy Camera printer because uh, they liked the one that I made for myself. So I was like, ooh, yeah, I'll just go on my blog and uh, just see how I did it. But then I looked on my blog and I realised I hadn't actually written this up. But then I did a bit more digging, found a few, few photos of this and realised why I hadn't um, wrote it up because it was right hodgepodge. Uh, I don't think I was happy with it and it was like hodgepodge of parts. Uh, sort of whack together so um, I thought right we'll go make it better and then I can release the files and everything else so basically what it is is an ESP8266 dev board using one of these e, uh, node MCU ones you probably could you get away with a smaller one but I know that this works so you know go with what you know uh, it's also got a recycled vape battery and a board which is one of them TP4056 but also with a um, low powered like book boost uh, on it so that's quite nice so it keeps it quite low powered because I think this original one that I used had um, I think it, it was running off 3.3 volts for some reason I don't, I don't really know there must have been a reason at the time um, but obviously so right I'll get into a bit of a quick demo of what this can do it's um, quite easy what you do is turn it on it won't do anything press the reset button and you get a flashing light I know you get solid light this means that it's ready to um, download files from your Game Boy camera. So we'll do that now. So load up. It's my Game Boy Pocket. Don't know why, but I like using my Game Boy Pocket for taking photos with. So you load it up. Um, get into your gallery. Um, there's some, oh, there's a nice picture of Chester, the second most photographed clock in the UK. So we just plug it in with the link cable, and then you'll go on, oh, no, 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 this one here, print, and it'll be printing. All right, it's done, it's done, that's it, solid light back on. Right, now we can turn this off, since we've transferred, get rid of that. And then come back onto this, press the reset button again. It's got two modes basically, one's print mode, and then this mode is Wi-Fi mode. So we're gonna go on my tablet. We'll do it this way because it's a lot easier. Uh, right, so what you wanna do, I've already got this set up, but you wanna look for your, go for your Wi-Fi. It's so a work on your iPad, your iPhone, all that kind of stuff, and then you wanna go select Game Boy Printer. Password is Game Boy Printer. Keep it simple. The only thing on the on this, it might moan about that it's got internet connection, but no internet access. So we'll just say yes to that. Stay connected. Get in your web browser, and then you want to go to this address at the bottom here, which will take you to this. You want to go import, and then you can just go um, check printer. And there'll be five images here. So we'll get to these on here. See, there's a few Chester Clock ones. What I want to show you, though, is what is great about this is we're just going to import. Well, we've already imported these, but if you wanted to import them, you just go OK and they'd get imported into your gallery. But they're already in my gallery. But what I've done is took the photo of this tablet with this sitting on the back of it uh, with different colored lens caps over it. it took three photos with on a tripod kept it still and then took one with the red one with the green one with the blue and we've got three photos here and then what we're going to do is if you go into this gallery but it's normally in this mode if you go to this if you go to this here and then you can select the three images you can just select them with the little Little a little tick there, and then you can go. I remember the order I done it in. So I did this one in red, I did this one in green, and then this one in blue. And then you can go up here, click this, uh, and then it'll be a little bit of save image there, and it'll save it as an actual like color photo. It doesn't look great, um, but if you do some really like vi vivid see vivid scenes. You can, um, it looks really good, but you can do all this on the fly because normally you'd have to put it into Photoshop, you'd have to do different thingies, but you can do this all on that and then you can basically just download, um, you can just download the image then. It's really, really, I can't believe how great this software is. It's absolutely amazing. You can also do uh, different other things as well. 
where you can, oh shit, I pressed too many things here. Right, if you go back to here, deselect all. Uh, you can go on as well and you can select the different color palettes that you can have. Uh, you want to have it in, so you just took it in like black and white, but you want to change it so you can kind of like colorize it a little bit or just have it a little different uh, thing because some look a bit better. And you can do that and you can just save it and then download it. It's absolutely amazing software that, um, just yeah, amazing. <laughs> so, as usual, I'll have a blog post with um, the 3D print files, uh, how to wire up this port because I failed miserably the first time. It's not wired the way you think it is. I think that's why I slept up last time. But this one, just wire it in. It's only like five wires, so it's quite easy to do. Um, everything else should be on the blog. You, you could probably maybe just use your different power supply uh, if you don't want to sort of build one of these uh, custom boards. Um, or you can just plug it in. You can just power it straight from the USB port with like a power bank on the go, really. I just wanted this in a nice little unit. And you can do what you want, really. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Bye.